An All Points Bulletin is out tonight for two men accused of kidnapping, robbing, and raping two women in downtown Mobile. Police have no idea who these guys are, but they have some really good clues that should change that. Fox 10 News reporter Andrew Perez is live at Mobile Police Headquarters. Andrew, police say this crime actually happened five days ago. That's, that's right, Lenise, and I'll tell you why it took them so long to release this information in just a minute. But first, I want to show you some surveillance pictures of the suspects and their car. Now, these pictures are extremely clear, so someone should be able to notice these guys. Now, let's take you to the first picture. Investigators believe this is one of the men who approached two women in a parking lot on Dolphin Street last Sunday morning. The men held the women at gunpoint, robbed them, and then took them to another location where they were sexually assaulted. Let's take you to the second picture now it shows the other suspect using the victim's debit cards at a local convenience store it's another really clear picture now this last picture shows the suspect's car it appears to be a dark green early 2000 model honda or toyota remember if you recognize this car or any of the suspects call mobile police right away now keep in mind this crime did happen in downtown mobile in a very busy section the entertainment district it has a lot of people talking well, that's really disconcerting because here we want everybody to come down and feel safe and then if you, you, don't, you aren't safe in the comfort and safety of your own car, then that's another issue. It could have been my wife or my daughter or my sister. Let's talk about that. Or my mother. I think that we live in a time now that anything can happen. Now take a look. Here's one more look at the suspects. Police want to get these crooks off the street tonight. If you know who they are, do the right thing and call Mobile Police. Now as for why police took so long to release this investigation, well, they tell Fox 10 News they did not want to jeopardize their investigation. Reporting in Mobile, Andrew Perez, Fox 10 News. All right, Andrew. And again, the details on this will be on our website, fox10tv.com.